Internet Vikings World of Experts. And today I'll be joined by one of Internet Vikings' passionate techies, uh, Oleksi Lesenko, who will provide insights into different hosting options and how these services differ and how to choose the best solution for your business. Oleksi is an account manager who continuously looking for uh, industry trends and opportunities due to his passion for technology. His experience with DevOps uh, actually allowed him to broaden his technical expertise in hosting platforms and environments, enabling him to better serve his customers by tailoring solutions to their unique demands. Welcome to the show, Alexi. We are very happy to have you here and very excited, like me personally, I'm very excited to listen. Uh, what is that you're going to share about today? Thanks. Thanks. It's uh, so nice to be here. Great. And without any further ado, let's um, jump right into the first question. And we know that uh, the, the name uh, of this uh, live stream specifically was cloud hosting versus collocation for iGaming industry. So tell us, please, the difference. What is the difference between collocation and cloud hosting? Yeah. So basically, the main difference between cloud hosting and collocation is the way how data is stored. So, well, um, Cloud hosting, well, it's a service provided by a cloud platform provider that includes its own set of technologies. Uh, basically, it allows you to access a remote server over the internet. Uh, the provider would manage everything, including the storage, servers, the network required. You would just simply pay for the access whenever you need it. While colocation, it's a much more serious endeavor and it requires a lot more dedication. Um, it allows businesses to rent space for IT infrastructure in a data center. Um, it would provide a, you know, provides this physical location, cooling, power, and security. Colocation services also include the possibility of multiple and hybrid cloud infrastructure, usually done with uh, cloud providers like Microsoft Azure or um, Amazon Web Services. And these things, they're not uh, mutually exclusive. Uh, many companies use both or a combination of one or the other. The main difference between them being is how data is managed and stored. So in cloud servers, uh, the data is stored and owned by the cloud provider and managed virtually. In colocation, servers are not owned by the colocation facility, but instead by the business that is leasing the space. Sounds sounds cool. Actually, very uh, complex system. Um, I must say, obviously, as all of these uh, tech uh, things we uh, we are getting to know about. So, uh, talking about uh, colocation uh, versus cloud hostings. In which situations do company choose colocation, and what might be the reason to select cloud hosting? Uh, talking about different businesses uh, or even iGaming industry specifically. What are the, the problems that companies are trying to solve choosing one or another? Yeah, so um, comparing these two further, um, colocation is a solid choice for businesses that require a mix of hybrid and multi-cloud storage. Um, but usually it's businesses that have outgrown the their own their own on-premise equipment in their own office, in the basement, whatever. Maybe they have their own server room. And they just often don't have the capacity to build their own data center, which is why colocation makes sense for some of the uh, companies. And they might be so used to the whole infrastructure, and uh, their platform might be tailored for um, for using you know this environment specifically. Um, cloud hosting it has a much lower entry cost uh, for businesses looking to expand their IT resources beyond servers in their own office. The self service model allows for a lot of flexibility to scale up or down compute uh, of the resources depending on your business needs at the moment. Colocation actually used to be the way to go, uh, but mainly for compliance reasons, just a couple of years ago, that is for iGaming. Uh, but, the, but these days, it's just not the case anymore, as many regulators have since allowed the use of cloud hosting to remain compliant, whether it's in Malta or the US with the Federal Wire Act. And it's actually one of the things that we do for our customers at Internet Vikings. Well, these are the great news that cloud hosting is actually um, fully uh, compliant. 
uh, okay, but uh, then while choosing hosting server uh, services, what should actually company pay attention to? Uh, which criteria should they double check before making a final decision between cloud hosting or collocation, whether it's a small business or a big business? Um, maybe there is like a more things they ha have to pay attention to. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, to be honest, uh, it all comes down, come down to which provider offers the kind of service with the terms you need for the time being. But also, it's very important to look ahead and consider how scaling the solution would work and whether the provider can support it in the long run. With that said, however, there are a few more like general things to consider when choosing a hosting provider. I like, uh, for example, Uptime. Uh, it's a very good rule of thumb when, you know, preferably it should be above 99.5%. And um, you should probably avoid companies that report annual uptime score below 99%. It might seem quite excessive, like 0.5 of a percent, but specifically for iGaming, it's a lot of money. Um, so it, it means a lot of money, uh, just these 0.5 of a percent. The other thing would be a customer support, customer care. How effective and speedy is the company in providing support for technical problems? Um, I would suggest you choose a host that offers live support to their clients, preferably 24 seven. Um, and also you should definitely give priority to those companies that have an in-house support department uh, because they have a much better grasp than the company that comparing to those that you know, outsource customer support. Okay, got it, got it. Uh, thank you so much for uh, this answer. Uh, talking about, uh, I've mentioned that you have uh, an extensive experience in DevOps, right? Um, and actually, we would like to know that, and I guess our listeners as well, what are the main uh, issues that company engineers might face while working with collocation and what are the ones associated with uh, cloud hosting? Uh, because obviously, like, uh, this is something, this is kind of like a service uh, they have, but they, the company engineers might face, like, lo lots of different issues. And maybe even not just engineers, but um, even, like, um, I don't know, account managers or, like, any other people who are working with the, uh, in the company. So what would it be? Yeah, so as I mentioned previously, these uh, cloud hosting and um, collocation, they're not uh, mutually exclusive at all. Uh, and it all depends on how you set them up. Um, for example, the, envir the environment of some cloud service providers can get quite restrictive in terms of what developers can do. Uh, well, on the other hand, offers them a lot of out-of-the-box integration in return. Uh, the platform can be very well supported. You can have a lot of documentation for the developers uh, with, with a lot of different things to conf for configuration and stuff. Uh, but uh, it, you know, there's also a risk um, you know, that might lead to something called a vendor lock. Uh, it basically means that your platform becomes so dependent on a specific cloud environment that you just simply cannot switch uh, easily or sometimes at all. You cannot switch a hosting provider, that is. They know that is why it's so important to take a lot of consideration when choosing a hosting provider because you, apart from looking at what fits right now, you also have to see what might work and what might not work in two, three years ahead. So it, it's a very important thing. It shouldn't be taken lightly. When it comes also to uh, some issues that developers might, uh, might face, so... As I said, it's all about how you set them up because uh, sometimes collocation, it's all about the management and all about the choices uh, that the company makes. Um, usually, if it's a smaller company, you should definitely go for a cloud um, solution because you don't need to manage. Uh, it, it's just a lot easier, uh, so to say. Uh, but when it comes to, you know, for developers, sometimes it doesn't really uh, make any difference. It all depends on how how the environment works, pretty much. You mentioned that uh, very scary issue uh, when you can't uh, change the the provider. So when, what are the uh, circumstances in which it can appear or like, how does it happen? Uh, if you could share like this insight, like secrets. <laughs> yeah, sure. So it's just some, you see, 
some cloud hosting providers, they just develop their platform, uh, their environment in such a manner that it becomes like sometimes it becomes simply impossible to switch. Uh, your platform becomes so dependent. It just grows so dependent. It's uh, the API and stuff. It, it really is very difficult because you need to change so much. You need to make structural changes to your platform. And that is uh, a lot of work from the development team. And it's sometimes it just doesn't make sense to do that. And that's why a lot of companies just stick to uh, the hosting provider that they you know, started with. That is a common issue that you know, customers face with Amazon, for example, because uh, their environment is uh, like that sometimes. Oh, OK. Got it. Oh, that's something new. I didn't know about it. But yeah, that does make sense. It's kind of like a forced loyalty. <laughs> um, okay. And I had one more uh, question when you were talking about the uptime, that it should be like ideally 99.5%. Uh, just correct me if I'm if I understood it wrong. Um, does actually the 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 hosting like the, the choice of the hosting provider like either it would be cloud hosting or colocation uh does it influence on the uh uptime uh, percentage or maybe like i don't know cloud hosting is faster or like colocation is faster or that makes that doesn't actually uh makes a difference it's just about how do you set them up well, in this case, uh, it's not, a, uh, you know, when it comes to uptime, it's not about um, cloud versus colocation. It's more about how the data centers of a specific hosting provider are set up, whether they have redundant uh, internet service providers, for example, if there's a power outage, if there's an internet service provider outage, um, those things that, you know, these are the things that you should consider. It's not about uh, cloud hosting or colocation. Okay. Okay, got it. Thank you. <laughs> then uh, it makes all uh, perfectly clear. Do not miss our future podcasts. Subscribe now.